there's been massive global actions for all sorts of different uh, causes where people share knowledge and empowerment. So like you might not feel that you alone can change the world, which I still think you can as any individual in the world can change the world. Uh, but if there are many individuals like that um, that pull their effort together, uh, we have changed lots of things, incredible things, uh, and uh, turned around uh, debates and decisions uh, based on people power, many mm -hmm. people. Uh, and there was a guy um, from the Gandhi movement in India that said a very powerful sentence that I have adopted to be my own. Uh, and he said that, uh, and this was in a documentary about the privatization of water, which I think everybody should actually familiarize themselves with. It's a very serious issue. It's called the blue, uh, there is a documentary called Blue Gold, and the water is becoming the blue gold. Uh, but this one is called Flow for the Love of Water. And he says the 21st century will be the century of the common people. And I think that the internet is going to allow us to make this our century. It's important for politicians to uh, understand that the best way to put your ear to the ground is actually in the social media. Uh, because there you can really feel, at least in Iceland, the curse of the, the pulse of the nation. It is no longer on the radio talk shows. Uh, it's in the social media. That's mm. where you will hear the heart of the nation beat. Mm. When you have crisis, you have also an opportunity for real change. Uh, that means that you can also pass good laws for the benefit of everybody that would normally not be accepted during uh, sta more stable times. So and that's how we got the Icelandic Modern Media Initiative through the parliament. Uh, and that's how I got into parliament. Uh, I would never have thought of entering into mm. parliament if there wouldn't have been that opportunity for real change.